Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha and I currently overland in my 2006 Jeep Wrangler, which is over there. There she is, little cutie. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to tape here. A, it's a little bit windy and sometimes wind creates for not great footage. All right, so whenever I am at a camp area that has a picnic table, I take full advantage of it because it doesn't always happen. And I know it sounds crazy, but having a table is a luxury. I have like my little tabletop, but I'm not able to like fully get... I use the table. So this morning, just an example, I took my bag out and I re rolled everything up and got it reorganized because I was able to take everything out and put it on the table and get it all resituated. I would not be able to do that on that little table right there. I probably could with between the last. I wouldn't though. And so something else that I really like to do is like I like to get my kitchen crate resituated, but I also figure this is a really good time to show you guys exactly what's in here because I don't think I've shown you what I carry in this crate. So this is essentially my kitchen. This is just a milk, I always have a hard time saying this, a milk carton. No, this is a milk crate. See, why do I say that every single time? It's a milk crate. But they fit perfectly in the back of my Jeep and that was not planned. I just got really lucky because these are the best like affordable storage. Like I know people have like the fancy drawers and all of that, but I don't. I have milk crates and they have worked just fine. So let's show you what's in here so I can also get it resituated. So believe it or not, the first hundred days that I was on the road, I strictly cooked with infrared and my power station. I honestly don't know why I was so nervous carrying around propane tanks. I think it's because I'm so accident prone. So like I just had like an envision of being on a back road and the roads being really bumpy and something like puncturing a tank, which could definitely happen and I, somehow exploding. So um, yeah, that's basically why. And also I was always in like really windy areas in the summertime. So I was always worried about like forest fires because it was always on like high alert, like the Smokey the Bear every time I would go through. So I think it was also that. But I've gotten over my fear and having a gas stove is honestly so much better. So these are just my camping plates. These, I mean, I think I got these off Amazon, but I'm pretty sure I've seen them in Cabela's. They're metal and they have like this enamel coating on it so that they're super easy to clean and they're metal so that they don't break. But I have two of them. And the reason I have two of them is so that I can also use it as like a way to keep my food warm when I'm like cooking other stuff or whatever. So this is a little set of nesting pots and pans. I got this from REI. Um, I like that they all nest together. I honestly, I, for the most part, I basically only a majority of the time I use the pan and it has like the little handles that flip out and then lock. And then it has two different little pots in here. And then it has one universal lid that fits on everything because it has like a little special indent. So it's on the little pan, but then on the pots, since they're two different sizes, there's like a little like lip so that it will also fit on the little one and then the bigger one as well too. And so these handles kind of just go out like that and then nest all together. I've been using these the entire time I've been on the road and I have not had any issues with them. I might eventually want to switch over to cast iron. I just like these because they the handle um the handles <laughs> broke down because I just know like when it's so annoying when stuff gets snagged on everything and that's what I thought about with the handle that it was just always gonna be getting snagged on everything. So, so this is my new and improved stove. It's the Coleman Peak One. My little brother got it for me for Christmas. It was so cute. And then this is the fuel, which I have been using this fuel for almost three weeks every single day. And there is still some in there. I thought for sure, 
I was gonna be blowing through tanks. I did it. But this tank was like six dollars, I think, seven dollars. So that was another thing I was concerned about that I was gonna be like blowing through fuel and it was gonna get expensive. And honestly, it's pretty affordable. So these are my seasonings. These are the only seasonings I honestly have. Um, I ha usually have normal salt, but right now I only have my Malden and then garlic powder. But keep it simple, keep it good. And then my cooking oil. This is just olive oil, mild tasting. I don't, I'm not like super picky about that kind of stuff. So I could honestly probably downsize some of these utensils that I have in here, but this is like my little utensil cup. So I have like a couple different spatulas, which I don't know why I have so many. Maybe I'll see if one of my girlfriends wants these when I'm... I think they look like they have like bite marks in them too. It's weird. This is the spatula that I use like all the time. And then every once in a while, I also will use this one. Oh, I bet I actually know why from things getting like bumped around. Nah, all right, that makes more sense. Uh, I have two of these, fork on one side, spoon on the other, and then it actually has like a serrated edge on the fork as well too. So sometimes I cut my bananas with that, like if I'm making little um, Ritz cracker sandwiches, but it doesn't cut very good. This little whisk I use for my scrambled eggs, and I do have an actual knife that sometimes I use, but I like this because it has the little sheath on it so that I cut myself, trying to reach around in there for stuff. This little Stanley, it's like a little um, pot. So if you wanted to just cook, I've boiled water in this for my coffee, like for pour overs. But honestly, um, it has like little like spouts here so that you can put the lid and like do that. But it just, it comes out too fast and I have no control over like how I want to do my water. So I can make coffee in my pour over with this, but it's not my favorite. And it has these two little cups inside of it, which is super cute. So that I guess if you like make soup or a cocktail maybe, but um, I've boiled water in this and I did cook something else in here, didn't I? But like I said, soup would be uh, ideal in here. Ramen noodles would be ideal in here. Maybe that is what I made actually, it was ramen. No, I think I made it. Enough. Anyway, this is cute. It's Stanley. Um, you're able to use that on the propane stove as well. So nice. it's nice to have like backups of stuff because trust and believe like I have come <laughs> across some weird situations where you're like so happy that you have a backup plan because I already like my I just got a new electric kettle and the I'm going to have to return it because the electric cord is already like separating, which happened the first one, but it was my fault. And I've had this for like less than two weeks. So I'm not necessarily thrilled about that. And now I'll probably have to use that for a while. So that's why you got to have backup plans. I have no idea why I have a measuring cup, but it is a quarter cup because I was like, well, you can pretty much make any measurement you need with a quarter cup. I don't know what measurement I would need. Like, am I thought I was going to be baking or something? So I definitely could have offloaded that, and I didn't. I never. Also, this too. I never use it. It's um actually what my utensils are stored in was like the smaller version. It's a collapsible coffee cup that I never use. <sighs> it has like the little thing here that you put on it, and then the lid never use it but since it takes up like no space one time I did store um my leftover beans in there because I didn't have any other thing to put it in and it leaked everywhere so then all of my ice and water was like bean infused and it was gross so I haven't used that since should really just get rid of it I have Ziploc bags in here that I use for my leftover like potatoes and stuff like that. So I just keep a couple in here for these. And this is exactly why I'm emptying out because it always gets like leaves and like weird stuff in here. This is like a backup silverware. It's like actual, oh, and apparently measuring spoons, which again, I don't know why, but um, like actual metal forks and spoons. 
I don't know why, but good to always have backup in case I do lose those spoons because that's something I would do. Here's the other one. <clears throat> I have some biodegradable camp soap so that if I need to wash dishes, anything like that. Um, I used to care. I don't have my shower with me anymore. I left that behind and I swapped out something else instead. So, so. a little tiny cutting board, which I, I don't even think I've ever used this. I usually use my plate, but maybe I should start using that. Can opener, <clears throat> which I do use. I love it when the cans have like the little pop top so you don't, but sometimes my beans have it agave which i actually had to use in my coffee this morning because i totally forgot that i had like no sugar so it's good to always have some backup but that was for like i guess i was like oh i'm gonna have overnight oats i made them once i think um a little like chip clip chip clip right there and last but not least my vitamins that i always forget to take so you guys should take them it looks like there's also an edible in there and it's a block bag too. So. All right. Oh, and a dirty pipe cleaner. But yeah, I like to do this when I have a picnic table. Cause like I said, I could take everything out, get whatever is in there out of there and then resituate everything. Now you can just kind of see. One thing I have learned from being on the road is to not have this, like I could fit a lot more stuff in here. I know that, but when it's like tetris tetris in there so much that like you got to take stuff out together to other stuff it becomes annoying and then you get frustrated and then you don't want to do it as often so my advice to you is to not have this couple like have it this is like three quarters i was maybe like two thirds of the way full and that is intentional because if not it is so much harder to get stuff out of there like my other milk crate for example is just like my miscellaneous stuff that I never really have to go in there for stuff and I have that packed to the gills like that is probably at like 95% max like filled out um and that's fine because it's very rare that I have to go in there for something so when I do it's not the end of the world if I have to take a couple things out to get to what it is that I need to be getting to so I will say though I use my kitchen crate every single day and if I did not have it set up the way that I did I would be probably annoyed and not wanting to cook as much so it's really just about having a good system that works for you but like I said having everything like crammed in there is just not going to be a good system for anybody so take my word advice on that one